This is a story about how I tried e-salon hair dye. Welcome to today's video. This is me trying out e-salon hair dye and actually this is the end result. You can see I've got, still got some of the dye stuck to my skin. Um, I use the stain remover but it doesn't seem to have worked very well. And my hair is still a little bit damp from washing it but um, it feels really soft. Um, I guess I'll be able to tell a bit better later on how well it's it, the result is, but right now I'm quite happy with it. Um, it feels very soft and yeah, and I seem to have been able to cover my greys, which is my biggest issue with my hair. So yeah, um, if this is something that interests you, then hang tight with today's video. Um, remember that you can always subscribe to my channel and also you can follow me on Instagram, on Pinterest and I have an Etsy shop. So in my Etsy shop I sell skincare recommendations or suggestions which I call curated skincare packages. So depending on what your skin type is, your skin concern and your budget, I will recommend products for you um, to then purchase. And there are lots of different packages out there. Um, also, I sell digital downloads um, and these are really to help you plan and track your self-care activities. So if you haven't taken a look already, then it would be fantastic if you would visit my Etsy shop. So let me tell you a little bit about my hair. So um, I am 46 and I have been dyeing my hair for at home for the last five, six years now. Um, basically what happened was in 2015, I took a look at my finances and I cut back on a lot of spending. And one of the things that I was spending quite a lot of money on was, and my apologies if you're getting the background noise, there's a lot of building work going on um, this week around here. I'm not sure what's up. But anyway, I, uh, I cut back on a lot of my spending in 2015 because I wanted to save my pennies um, to put towards having treatment so that I could get pregnant. And so one of the things that I cut back on was on going to the hairdresser. I used to go every six weeks, six to eight weeks, and have my hair cut and also have it dyed. And actually, I saved so much money um, from doing it at home. And to be honest with you, um, I don't think the results were that off. Um, I don't think that my con the condition of my hair got really, really bad or anything from doing it at home. And I definitely saved quite a lot of money. So um, yeah, so I did, I've been dyeing my hair at home for a long time and I've tried over that period, I've tried lots of different hair dyes. I've tried the ones that come from Holland and Barrett, you know, then I think they're called Natra Tint or Pharma Tint, no. But anyway, the more natural ones, I'm not sure how they're more natural because I'm sure they're full of chemicals. Um, I've tried L'Oreal, I've tried Nice and Easy, I've tried one that's kind of like a mask, um, I've tried Oleo, is that how you say it, Oleo? But anyway, I've tried lots of different ones. To be honest, um, my, my preferred one has been the L'Oreal Preference one. Um, and I also, in between dyes, often use just the root and I use Nice and Easy or Super Drug or Boots, you know, um, I just go in. But I thought I would treat myself to e-salon and that's what, you know, today's video is about. I do have greys, I do have um, oily roots and my hair was kind of a bit stripy um, from the last dye because I went light brown on the roots um, and I, I'm so happy that they're no longer light brown. They're more like my natural hair colour, which is dark brown. So, yeah, so have a look at this video. Um, I I just was really curious about the e-salon product. Um, and yeah, and, and see what you think. So apologies for being a bit of a sweaty Betty, but I wanted to just show you sorry <laughs> i can't help the selfie stick well uh straight but um i just wanted to show you the state of my hair before i get going on dyeing it um i am glowing right now because i've just got back from walking to and from the nursery and i need to have a shower but first i wanted to dye my hair so let me just show you if you can see the roots that are coming through my hair the last dye wasn't very successful because i went probably too light so we'll see what happens now because hopefully the colour matches a bit better uh, seeing as someone physical has actually chosen the colour apparently. 
uh, with e Salon. But yeah, I've got greys coming through. Um, probably not as obvious as when my hair is completely dry. It's a bit oily and sweaty right now. But yeah, it's definitely time to retouch uh, my hair. So there you go. Let's get going. So the e Salon box got delivered uh, to my door which is quite handy, uh, particularly in these lockdown times. And I thought I'd just show you what's inside the box. Uh, unfortunately, I think the size means that it won't get through most letter boxes. It certainly didn't get through mine, but that's because my letter box is uh, much smaller than standard size because it's the original 1930s letter box. But uh, let's have a look what's inside. Oh, look, it's got my name. That's nice. Okay, so it's personalized instructions, it seems. So an instruction kit, and then I've got a brush. Um, okay, so what's this? Karen's color, that's nice. And there's a developer, the kit and gloves. Okay, yeah, this looks good. I think I could have bought a bigger kit that was a bit more expensive that had the bowl in it, but I thought, you know what? I've got so many old takeaway bowl, um, kind of takeaway boxes or containers is probably a better word. I thought, well, you know what? I'll use that. So. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a few minutes just to um, read through the instructions and, and make sure I'm okay with everything before I get going. What's this? Oh, wow, a sticker. So you can stick up your instructions. I guess that means you can stick them on the wall while you're um, using them. Oh, that's very handy. So you don't have to worry about getting dye everywhere. Um, you can just read them off the wall. Okay, fabulous. That's, that's great. I like that. It's a nice touch. Okay, right. Here we go. And I just noticed, I didn't see before because I um, couldn't see because of glasses eye situation. But look, I've got a, a poem. Um, your colour, your way. Okay, fabulous. Just reading through the instructions, it looks like you can either apply with the bottle, which is what I'm used to doing, or with the bowl and brush. So I think I'm going to do the bottle. Um, I, I have done bowl and brush as well. I do that when I do my roots, but... Yeah, I think it might be easier to do the the, bot the bottle and maybe, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think you can see better here what is going on with my roots. Um, probably um, the lighting or, or whatever, but anyway, and I've parted it just where my parting is. So you can see the situation. So they, they uh, supply a... Um, little sachet of something they call skin guard, which you might just see this sort of extra bright shininess around my hairline here. Basically, it's just a type of Vaseline as far as I can tell. And it's um, so that uh, the dye doesn't, if it gets on your skin, it doesn't dye it. I usually skip this step when I'm doing my uh, dyeing at home. Um, but yeah, then sometimes I pay the consequences for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, it's a lot of product as well. I don't know if you need to have that much uh, in it, but it's a nice touch that they include, they've include. they included that in the kit. Okay, so I have, gosh, you can see the messy bathroom I'm in. I have mixed up the colour with the developer in the bottle and I've shaken it vigorously. So now I'm ready to get started and put the, the dye onto my hair. I've got to start with the roots. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I have gone in and done my roots. I've probably put gone too far back um, because they say just wear it until you notice the regrowth but because the last dye that I used wasn't quite the right colour I think that's okay to go a bit further back but we'll see I might have even more stripy hair when we finish we'll see um, yeah and um, I've been really careful to get all my baby hairs or as many as I can in that's why sometimes I get dye on my face as well because I, I have so many baby hairs and what can I say about the consistency? I really like that consistency. Actually, I saw some videos already on e Salon, and it looked like it was really liquid and this is not liquid at all. This is much more like a cream and that's way better because otherwise I get stuff everywhere. I haven't had one little incident on my face, but I've wiped it off. So yeah, so now I've got to set a timer and then come back and reapply to the rest of my hair. Okay. And just to say a couple of things here, um, the time has just gone off, so I need to put, do the end bits, but um, I've got an old dressing gown, which I use for when I'm dyeing my hair. Probably would have been better to go for a darker color, but obviously it's an old one, so I'm just repurposing something. Um, whoops. 
<laughs> this doesn't stay up. Um, okay, and also to say, it says to section your hair in with plastic clips. I didn't do this. Um, my hair is quite fine. And so hopefully it's not gonna be a complete disaster. But anyway, I'm gonna go in now with the ends. Right, so I'd say that my hair is pretty much saturated now, which is great. Um, there's still quite a lot left in the bottle. Um, I don't know if you can sort of see it down here. Uh, don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks really dark. We're gonna see, it is supposed to be dark brown, so I suppose that's okay. Um, I'm gonna probably, it's gonna be a big contrast, I reckon. Okay, so, oh, I've got some on my nose. I better get that off. Oh, great. Okay, um, so now I've got to set the timer for 10 minutes. You're supposed to clip your hair up with a plastic clip at this po moment in time, but I don't need to. The The product is, um, yeah, it's, it's keeping it up there, so that's fine. Okay, right, set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm now ready for step three, which is blend for shine. Um, so I've got to do that um, over the bath, so I'm going to do that now. And yeah, I'll probably come back to you actually uh, once it's all finished, if that's okay with you. Don't really wanna get my naked on in front of you guys. Um, yeah, so <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, so despite saying that I wasn't gonna see you until um, I was dressed and stuff, but um, I did just wanna uh, film with this towel on my head. Um, I bought this uh, quite a long time ago and it's really useful. It dries the hair really quick because it's kind of microfiber. Um, but also because it's such a dark colour, any kind of residual um, dye doesn't really stain it. So yeah, I use this all the time. I'm really pleased with it. Also, just to say that whole kind of step three emulsifying experience, did not enjoy that because the smell, although not very apparent when I had it just sitting on my hair, um, when I was emulsifying it, so you have to mix the residual um, uh, dye with water and then massage it through your hair for two to three minutes. The smell was just so intense and I found it quite really strong. So yeah, so um, I probably only massaged for about a minute and a half and then I got in uh, to the shower and I washed it all off. I really like the shampoo, um, conditioner, uh, yeah, we'll see how it leaves my hair, but um, yeah, uh, I'm now gonna get dressed. So there you have it. Um, I am actually quite impressed with how um, this has turned out. I'm not so keen on the staining of my skin, which normally I, I get off um, with other home dyes that I use. But um, yeah, the result is good. What I'm not sure about is if I am gonna use them again because they are slightly more expensive than the home dyes that I typically use. Um, I'm going to have to think about that and see how um, I fare with this dye over the next couple of weeks, um, see if it fades at all. But um, yeah, I like the package, I like that it was personalised, it was very easy to use um, and at right now my, my hair feels pretty good. So, so there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember, you are in perfect time. Take care and see you soon.